Everton Heritage Society to pay tribute to Charlie Perry, one of Everton's first league title winners. The life of one of Everton's first league title winners, the redoubtable Charlie Perry, will be commemorated at an event organized by Everton FC Heritage Society, in partnership with Oswestry Town Council. And fittingly for only the third Evertonian to represent Wales in a full international, the event will take place on Friday, March 1st, St. David's Day. The event will take place at 11.30am at Oswestry Town Cemetery and will see the unveiling of a headstone at the, currently unmarked, grave of the footballer, who died in poverty in 1922, aged just 52. It is supported by, amongst others, Everton FC, the FA of Wales, the National Football Collection and the Perry family. Charlie Perry, who was raised in Oswestry and spent his later years in the town, was a member of the first Everton team to secure the Football League Championship in 1890-91, when the club was still based at Anfield. He also holds another, unwanted claim to Everton fame, when on his Football League debut, at Anfield, on the opening day of the 1889-90 season against Blackburn, Charlie scored in a 3-2 victory over Blackburn Rovers and was then sent off by the appropriately named referee Mr. Glump after 82 minutes for a persistently fouling Forrest. Thus Charlie entered the record books as the first Everton player to be sent off in a league fixture. Aside from winning 13 Wales caps, captaining the side on four occasions, he went on to win the Welsh Cup with Aberyst with Town in 1900. During his playing career he also represented Chester Street Oswalds, Liverpool Caledonian, Newtown FC and Oswestry Town, a forerunner of the New Saints. He died from tuberculosis in 1922, aged only 52. Prior to his passing, both Everton and Liverpool FC played in benefit matches for him. Tragically, Charlie's wife, Ada, passed away just four years later. She is laid to rest alongside Charlie and their grandchild, Mavis. EFC Heritage Society has conducted grave rededications and restorations for a number of notable former players and club officials. It decided that Charlie's grave was worthy of restoration in light of his outstanding contribution to the club's early successes. A new headstone has been commissioned and will be unveiled at the event. Representatives from Oswestry Town Council, the Perry family, the FA of Wales, Everton FC, the New Saints and Aberystwyth Town have already confirmed their attendance. Brendan Connolly, chairman of EFC Heritage Society, said, This is another opportunity to recognize a former player in the Perry family. Charlie made a significant contribution to the history of our great club. I would like to thank Rob Sawyer for his hard work in ensuring our latest project will be delivered. Thanks also to Everton Football Club for their ongoing support and Oswestry Town Council for their assistance with this particular project.